Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be covering how to make some ore in mCreator uh, 1.8.0. Uh, this will pretty much not change as uh, far as I know for quite a while. Uh, the mechanics are pretty much in set where it won't need to be changed, but um, we're just going to make Ruby ore. I created some textures and stuff. Uh, the textures are already imported. Uh, what you want to do is create your item, uh, pretty much just leave all the settings default um, unless you want to change something, uh, but I recommend just keeping it default. Uh, you don't need to worry about procedures for that, and the item is created. So now we're going to work on the block, and this is where most of the stuff is actually coded in and um, we're just going to call it Northwest Trees uh, Block Ruby or and click OK. Uh, select the blue square and then select your texture and then load all the textures. Everything here is fine. Uh, next give your block or your or a GUI name so I'm going to call it Ruby or you can find the hardness of any pretty much any block on the Minecraft uh, breaking page. Uh, we want three for diamond ore, so pretty much all ores around three. So we just want to select that, set it to three for hardness, and you want to select uh, stone for set sound step and material stone for ore or material is stone or rock and now for the harvest breaking uh, harvest level uh, can be found on Amcrater site so uh, wood gold zero stone one iron two and then diamond three and so on so I'll be covering a tutorial on how to do all that later in the future but uh, just set it to 2. Uh, you want it to be affected by silk touch. You want it to be uh, mined with a pickaxe. And you want to select custom drop and select your ruby. This will drop an item like diamond ore or lapis lazuli. And the last thing we need is resistance. So. You can go to the explosion page on Minecraft Wiki and find out all the different types of blocks and their resistance um, on the blast resistance chart below. Uh, what we want though is down below diamond ore 15. So select uh, 15 for your um, resistance. And that's pretty much good. Um, you want to uncheck can provide power though, unless you want it to be something like redstone ore. But just uncheck that. And if you don't want it under a creative tab, then you can change what tab it's under. I suggest just keeping it under blocks though. And it looks good. Uh, I don't think there's any problems. And we do want it to be affected by silk touch. So click next. Uh, if you want to effect to it, you can add effects and inventory you don't need. Um, yeah, so all this, uh, go to your block generation page and select um, some information from diamond dot or diamond ore wiki and they can spawn within a 1 to 10 vein so you might want to select the um, frequency on specific chunk to 10 and it will naturally be anywhere from 10 below I set it to 8 in this tutorial however uh, they do spawn on level 16 so we're going to set that uh, under the uh, blue marker that goes up and down we can adjust the height there. And the frequency on chunks, uh, because diamond ore is only one per chunk, uh, I set it to one. However, like I said before, you want to select uh, one to ten 
for the vein frequency. And uh, yeah, that looks good. So just generate that and we'll test it in game. So I think the easiest way to test the or rather than finding it is just to clear out an entire chunk below and using the command that you saw I was able to clean out all the stone and pretty much all the debris outside of gravel and stuff but it uh, looks like we found some it doesn't look like this particular chunk has any though so that's fine but um, you can tell that it's pretty common on all the chunks I'm just making sure there's none under here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I'm going to replace it with gravel. So let's get rid of all that gravel. And lava. And water. Obsidian. Stuff like that. I'll just try cleaning all this up. There we go. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any in this chunk. So I cleaned out another chunk, and I just wanted to see how many were in this particular chunk. And I'm just trying to get all that lava un un uh, out of the way. Flowing lava still didn't help much. Okay, so we have four there. Now diamond ore can actually spawn twice in one chunk uh, because if a chunk is neighboring, it can go into the other chunk. So it wouldn't be uncommon to have this chunk spawn with two or a sp chunk to be sp spawned with two. Um, as long as they're not over uh, one average per chunk, it doesn't matter. Uh, this one's spawning eight, so like I said, if you um, increase it to ten, you can get up to probably a vein of ten. But I'm not seeing anything over eight, so that's good. Let's get out of here. Thank you for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that little silver bell for notifications. You can also go to my Google Plus page, I use that as a feed for all my new videos that I publish. If you want to go a little bit further in supporting me, uh, you can also go to my website and do a one-time donation on the donation page, or you can subscribe to me on Patreon and um, and get content earlier than anyone else on YouTube. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, definitely comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions or comments. And uh, if I don't get back to you right away, then I might be a little bit busy at the moment, but I will do my best to get back to as many people as I can as with uh, the time that I do have. Uh, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you next time.